Yeah, Clifton House, I think, is very friendly, relaxed, welcoming. I'll say that I'll be frightened a bit. It smells better from other places I've been, so. On. There's nice staff, they'll always talk to you if you've got a problem. There's nothing I don't like about Clifton House, I like it. Well, if you're real, it's a place to come where you can talk to people and that. Clifton House provides inpatient treatment in a low secure environment, a rehabilitation ward and within two community houses. Outpatient follow-up in the community is also available by the Forensic Community Health Team. I feel like um, I've been accepted and I've been made welcome. People can be admitted to Clifton House from various settings, from prison, from medium and high secure hospitals, from the community and from other mental health units. Usually people are admitted to Clifton House for treatment of a mental illness. There's staff there to talk to if I need to. Then I've got my clinical team, I've got my psychologist, my social worker, my doctor, and uh, they're all very, uh, very understanding and uh, helpful. Yeah, I like all the staff, they're really, they're really nice. Uh, I feel safe with them. Treatment within the service is provided by a multidisciplinary team. Each of these professionals have different roles and skills, but work as a team to ensure that the care we can provide is comprehensive. Uh, I was actually a bit shocked about moving to Clifton House because uh, it, it happened a bit sooner than what I thought it would. Um, but I've done a long time at Newton Lodge where I was previously to here. At Newton Lodge, do a lot of people are very ill, very ill people, and you just have to, uh, you know, uh, socialise with people who are as well as yourself. I do actually feel a lot safer at Clifton House. Uh, it was definitely the right moment to move. Because every service user or patient has different needs and problems, everyone is treated as an individual. Treatment is therefore tailored to suit each individual and we ensure that service users are involved with the planning of their care at all times. Well, I get the opportunity once a week to speak to the doctor about my treatment so I can tell him how I'm feeling and what I think about my treatment. So that's quite good. Well, I've got a key worker who I see for a one-to-one, -one, maybe once a week, once a fortnight, more if necessary. And then we have an MDT with doctor every fortnight and we discuss present and future plans. There are people who, who um, maybe find it more difficult than they anticipated or than, than we've anticipated. But generally speaking, people are supported and we pick them up straight away. And if there's a problem, we're very much guided by the patient. If they don't feel ready to move on, then they don't move on. Until they feel able, um, can we take the lead from them, really? No, they do listen to me points of view and uh, take it on board what I'm saying. There's a meeting once every three months called the Involvement Strategy Group. There, patients have a, an opportunity to influence the way services are, are developed and changed. And um, there's a certain amount of work to do from that meeting. Uh, that's going to help other people in other units. We're, yeah, we're making a big uh, input into the way services are delivered uh, throughout the region. So I, I'm, I'm busy with that. Uh, there are activities in, in Clifton House. We've got volleyball, we've got football at the university or at Rocco. Um, we go and play badminton. There's crosswords on the ward. Um, different games like Pictionary that we play on the ward. Every Tuesday we have a go to the cinema, I will go bowling. Uh, we go to go-karting, we've been to Laser Quest, we've been on a trip out to Flamingo Land. Uh, we have what they call pub club, where you get a few patients and staff take you to the pub. Um, Christmas we usually go to Pantomime, the women do anyway. We've got lots of pub trips, shopping in town, um, Farmer's Cat and Wyvill, which have both got cafes. We've, we've made a list of other places we, we ticked off, which are the best to go to. Places like museums and stuff, so that's coming around soon. Pool, table tennis, art, um, and that's all good. The doctors and nurses will discuss with the service users the most appropriate medication for them to take. This might be in tablet form or as an injection. On Westerdale Ward, medication is given out in the clinic room by a qualified nurse at various times throughout the day. 
some service users on Riverfields Ward and at the community houses can look after their own medication. It's just a case of going at a certain time or getting me on at a certain time and taking it. I don't, I'm not on injections or anything. Although medication is an important part of the treatment on offer at Clifton House, it is by no means the only treatment. We believe that to become and stay well, service users may need help in all areas of their life. Education, employment, housing, socialising, budgeting, physical health and self-care skills are also areas that we will help with. Clifton House provides a defined path of progress for patients. Generally, people are admitted to Westerdale Ward and after a period of stability will move to the less secure Riverfields Ward for rehabilitation. From there, some service users go to Fieldview, which is a community house staffed 24 hours a day. It just seems to be a small staff team, but this is just a, it's just a house with, with four patients in it. Uh, patients who are mostly very well. Residents there seem to be able to go about their business with a minimum of fuss. If it is appropriate, a move to Elmfield Terrace may occur. This community house is only staffed for a few hours a day, although staff support is readily available in an emergency. Independent accommodation is the next step from here. People move along this pathway at different speeds, and some may miss out some of the steps, whilst others may revisit one step several times. It all depends upon the individual. Well, I'm moving on to an annex to this, but it is still hospital, but it's going to be a a private house, four bedroom, and I still I know all the staff because some of them have worked over here. I'll sell care more, which I don't mind, and uh, I'll still get trips out. Yeah, it'll be a bit closer to being in the community, and hopefully after six months or a year, I'll be able to move. Service users can undertake college courses, have volunteer jobs, or paid employment within our service in preparation for independent living. Uh, there is opportunities for pay employment. I myself am uh, employed for pay. Uh, just looking after the grounds, we have nice grounds here. There's opportunities for growing vegetables and in the greenhouse. Looking after the front of house by the admin offices are all uh, cleaned by patients. Out front of the building is, is kept clean and tidy by patients. Um, for which you get money, which is good. I like money and uh, I get money for it. Yeah, you'll notice a lot of difference from a medium secure unit down to here. And uh, you get all your access when you get your access together. There's plenty of things to do. And uh, yeah, it's good. Upon being admitted to Clifton House, service users and their families will be given a welcome book, which explains things such as visiting times, ward round times, how to make complaints and contraband items, etc. However, staff will always be around to answer questions. I've been at Clifton House now for about 10 weeks and I've got a lot of access. I'm allowed anywhere in North of England uh, for 12 hours a day. So I've got a lot more access than what I had at Newton Lodge. On the whole, here at Clifton House, it's uh, a lot calmer, uh, a lot more relaxed. And generally, it's, generally it's uh, okay.